Okay, in a survey of 100 students, it was found that 70 live on campus, 60 go to the rec center, and 50 live on campus and go to the rec center. And we got three questions. Uh, how many students live on campus or go to the rec center? How many live on campus but don't go to the rec center? And how many uh, go to the rec, do not go to the rec, and do not live on campus? Oops, sorry. Okay, so... Let's see here. Actually, let me change the background real fast. Sorry. That's better. Okay, so we how many groups do we have? We have we have two groups. All right, and we got to figure out what those two groups are. And the ones we have, let's see, we have uh, living on campus. So live on campus. And the second one is the uh, the ones that go to the rec center. And then there's 50 who do both, but still two groups, live on campus and rec center. So when we set up this in, in a uh, Venn diagram, we're only going to have two circles. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see. So let's do the big rectangle, which represents everybody, uh, whether they go to the rec center or whether they don't, that's everybody. And we have our two circles. Okay, so let's, let me change color here. All right, so this first circle here, I'll say living on campus, and I'll call C. And this one I'll call R for rec center. So what we're going to do is fill in or use the information from up here to fill in each region. Now, how many regions do we have? We have one, two, three, and four. Uh, you know, if you're out here, that still counts as this region. So there are four overall regions that we need to uh, fill out. Okay, so when you go through the information given you want to look for the most specific piece of information and it looks like that would be the 50 who live on campus and go to the rec center because the way that these circles work is this region where that's in both circles they are the people who both live on campus and go to the rec center and since 50 do that we're going to put 50 right here now this region would represent the people who live on campus but do not go to the rec center in fact that's actually when I figure out what uh, number this is that's my answer to the second question which is right here okay so now that I know 50 go in both let's see what else we need I know that there's 100 total students in this survey. Now, that 100 doesn't go in any of the regions here. I usually just throw up top. That just tells me that when I add up all of the regions, it should add up to 100. And let's see, uh, 6 to go to the rec center. Okay, now, these two circles, or I'm sorry, these two regions, okay, this entire circle adds up to 60. Okay, not just this region here, but this entire circle. Now, I already know that 50 are here, okay, which means 10 has to go here. Now, why 10? Because in the entire rec center circle, 60 have to be in here. So if I were to add up each region in this circle, I'd have to add up to 60. Since I already know 50 are here, 10 must be here. And 70 live on campus. So what I normally do is I throw a little number out here next to the letter representing the circle if I know the total number in that region or in that circle. Now, 70 live on campus, and I already know 50 are in this region, then 20 must be here. Because, again, this entire circle has to add up to 70. And we have one more region, which is the outside. Now, this region represents the people who do not live on campus, and they do not go to the rec center. Okay, now if you were to add up all the regions we have so far, we have 20, 50, and 10. 
and that adds up to 80. So these three regions add up to 80, which means this last region, or the fourth region, the outside, has, has to be 20. Now that I've done that, I can go answer the questions. So let's see. Um, how many live on campus or go to the rec center? Which means they can live on campus, they can go to the rec center, they can do both, I don't care, as long as they're doing one of these things. And that would be these people here, oops, right here, so that the 20, the 50 who do both, and the 10 who are only going to the rec center, and that add up, adds up to 80. How many live on campus but do not go to the rec center? Now, how many live on campus but don't go to the rec center? That would be these people right here. Because they're in the campus circle, but they're not in the rec center circle. So the answer to that one would be 20. How many go to the rec center? How many do not? Sorry. How many do not go to the rec center and do not live on campus? Well, that would be the people out here. And that would be 20 as well. 